it's me again and my awesome cat and as you can see it's tutorial time and what we gonna do on this tutorial this time we gonna make uh, dig I mean selector based counter and timer display yeah and it's gonna be multi-segment so it's, it's good stuff so first of all you got this beautiful part of holograms using this interesting actually it's holograms oh it's neon I'm so good genius yeah if you want to do disc play based you need to use hologram instead or else you won't be able to overlap and change the numbers okay so first of all we need a microchip and microchip you you can actually it's very good to keep uh, a selector outside microchip you're gonna see why it's because the, if you pack all the selectors in one place you end up with white microchip with tons of wires and it's be, gonna be very hard to edit it so of course our main actor is selector and you're gonna see so of course we're doing selector based counter display and timer uh, and idea of the using selector with programs or any other light is to make sure that every one uh, you only one thing is displayed it doesn't need to be numbers it can be anything and it can be used for memory and something like that uh, so actually as you're gonna see in, in later it's very easy this is actually got pros very easy to set values and get values and uh, first of all uh, we start with increasing uh, counter keep in mind this method has some cons like uh, you're gonna see what cons so first of all start connecting uh, numbers from the first one yeah that lights up a state zero and continue to connect increasing number of each port yeah keep in mind if you do uh, this is the last moment that you can change anything so be, uh, plug it correctly or else you're gonna have really trouble editing this thing and you're gonna see why too so if you got any uh, want to change any graphic I would better do that now uh, yeah and 9 so since we got this play I gonna oh I forgot something Uh, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna need that in the future. Exam order. Whatever, okay. Okay, so we got everything plugged. Ready to go. Uh, now, uh, what you do is to overlap whole grounds into one place. Uh, yeah, it's better if you use a grid, if you use any gritty font, you better use grid. 
You can of course, if you got some more complex font for your counter, you, you can use something else. Yeah, sorry, as I always, I talk very strange way, but we can see at least how it is done. So, yeah, so it looks like a mess, but, but, when you go preview mode, you will notice only one digit is displayed. Yeah, and this is the magic of the whole idea. You don't need any LCD controller, you just make simply each number and that's it. So, uh, we get one digit. Right, and now, as we can easily guess, we can add button. And plug it to the cycle. And we gonna have Yeah, it's working. It's easy part. And it's gonna loop to zero back. Yeah. So what is magical about it since it, it seems very easy and obvious? Well, it allows to expand it, major feature is really easy expandable. So we're gonna make a few of those, let's say three, right? And the magic is, magic trick, uh, we're gonna, uh, you plug, zero value, the one cable output that you plug the zero number you plug it to uh, uh, to the cycle so we're gonna plug it here yeah and you chain, uh, you, you, if you get more digits you do the same over and over again to the end of your number so we gonna plug here to the another ch uh, uh, chain, you know, making chain connect zero to the cycle of the next microchip. So uh, as you can see in this progress, our selector switch to one. So it, it's normal. You need to reset it to zero, and you do this back here too. So now, uh, yeah, and as you can see, we're gonna leave this. So as you can see, we get now three numbers, but uh, d during that uh, changing those selectors, we did something special about it. Uh, when we counter reach nine, it changed to 10. And continue counting. And if you plug get controlinator and get uh, uh, controlinator and plug X to the selector, you got easy tap uh, tap game. And you can add a point giver and you got ready game that actually in beta such game got mm picked. So you know. So yeah, this is how you do. Now another interesting thing since you want for example do timer, right? So for do that you're gonna increase one selector since uh, we have 60 minutes, right? So we need to reduce number of outputs to it's gonna be five, no six, yeah, including zero. And now we're we gonna set this to zero. Uh, plug, plug it here. 
so now we're doing timer right and we reduce the number of digits on the second number to six since uh, this uh, we got only 16 seconds right tough time and we plug uh, yeah we need to reset this too and this too and we're gonna reset this too again <laughs> yeah Voila. And now, to make a timer, you need to use timer, of course. <laughs> Duh. And you're gonna... Uh, oh, I'll better pause this. Plug it to the counter trigger right since it's start uh, you know I've used button as example but you can use anything as a trigger it works exactly the same as normal control actually so it when start receives signal it will trigger it will count up oh and set it to one second of course since we want count seconds we counting time right so now we got beautiful... Oh, something went wrong. Oh yeah, one more thing. <laughs> we need to loop it to reset. Yeah, and as you can see, it's now beautifully counting time. And when it reach due our change, when it reach 5, it will go to 0 and it will trigger this so you know you can add some uh, you can add some toggle here make some holograms right let's say uh, yeah, holograms uh, square Plug it to toggle. Uh, you can add, add extra extra timer. Actually, you can do that something like this. No, no, wait. Yeah, it will work this way too. You can set this timer to half. Uh, plug this to input. Make it invert. And put it on that uh, directional and plug this here. Of course, set this to half seconds, yeah. But you can use also toggle by plugging the toggle. But this way, we get half second counter. And as you can see, we get beautiful counter. And it's counting up. And actually this got con exactly as you may think, you can only count up things. Now, uh, and set the value, you're gonna see now, we're gonna show you how to set value. Yeah. Now, as you can know, we're using selector that turns the sending signal and you can set it whatever you want it to do. So, for example, we want to do some logic that do some stuff when we got uh, uh, time uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, 30 min uh, no, I mean 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah. So, to do so, we simply uh, end uh, gating every output of the selector that indicates specific number. So this is our once of the second, so we want zero. Since we got we want 40 minutes, so we need to plug number three. And actually if you don't leave this one and you know make two ports, you're gonna have event every minute, but when it's 30 seconds. <laughs> 